It's being reported that Academy Award nominee Rooney Mara and Nicholas Holt have signed on to star in the upcoming film The Discovery, a science fiction love story set in a world where the existence of the afterlife is scientifically proven. The Discovery is set a year after the world-changing discovery of a prov- provable afterlife. Holt plays the son of the man responsible for the discovery, and Mara plays a woman he falls in love with whose life is tinged by a tragic past. John, do you buy or sell the sounds of the discovery? Yeah, I buy it, and for a couple reasons. Number one, Nicholas Holt, I mean, a few years ago, if you had said, hey, this kind of awkward looking kid he might actually go out and now he's like on a roll not only does the x-men franchise he was fantastic in warm bodies right right he was that movie could have easily not worked it's one of those films that a lot hinged on the performance of your lead guy mm-hmm. and i thought holt carried it really really well and then of course he's got mad max fury road i live i die i live again i live again <laughs> <Yeah>. witness <laughs> okay so like and he was he, he played his role really great in that the dude is on a roll he still has more x-men coming out as well so the and the the concept is fascinating. I mean, I that is and to me, maybe somebody else thought, oh no, that was in a video game once, maybe. But to me, it's a completely original idea. I love Rooney Mara, so I've been looking for her to get back to that same form that we saw her in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I don't really think she's had the opportunity to really showcase herself since then. So maybe this might be the vehicle. Anyway, so for me, it's a buy. Mark, what about you? It's a buy for me too. And and Holt and Mara are are, are real talents. But again, the concept alone, I don't care who you, you could have. You know, Polly Shore and Yahoo Serious could be in this movie. And I'm like, I like this idea so much that there's a provable. <laughs> Afterlife, because we've seen love stories before where like somebody dies and then maybe you're still in love with them or you can be like ghosts, you know, right. you can yeah. kind of be in touch with still their spirit. feel the presence. But, but that's just like you have like a crazy Whoopi Goldberg running around trying to convince people that no, there is really <laughs> Patrick Swayze was really he's he she really was has a just spirit. in the foyer yeah. doing he's, that five she, minutes ago. Like Yahoo Serious, he's running Ray across right the street, now. the ghost form of Yahoo Serious. But we've never seen it. I miss Yahoo Serious, so we, we've never, we, but we've never seen it like where it's just scientifically proven. So that's an interesting angle to take. And so I'm definitely on board. I, I love the idea. I, don't, I can't get the idea of Yahoo series out of my mind. And Polly <laughs> Shore. Be a, that why those movie. two together? That's like the that weirdest combo. Film. Young Einstein, yeah. Reckless Kelly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, that Yahoo series, he should be in the movie. You guys should find <laughs> out. It sounds great. It sounds like a great premise. And yeah, it, it, it is really a fun way to, to set a science fiction film by saying, the thing that you know divides countries, that creates war, religion, all this stuff uh, over beliefs, this thing is actually finally in this movie proven, and then everyone just is moving forward and having their breakfast, and they're like, "No, it's real." Now what do you do? Yeah, and I want to see then, how they yeah. prove it. Yeah, yeah, so, is, is it like paranormal it's, it's, activity? Well, do they get a ghost on camera? I feel do like they... I feel like it'll already have been proven by the you know like they've oh that's already a, a done deal, and so they're like that's at least yeah, my idea. Be, I, yeah. The story's supposed to pick up one year after this, this All right, discovery. So yeah, been that, made, right? that is from reading into it. That's what I'm thinking of. That oh okay, they've already discovered it now. This woman's going through some trauma. I mean, they're obviously going to interconnect in some way and like maybe go into past lives or whatnot. It sounds very interesting. With so. a year out, okay, so we discovered this a year ago. Is it now socially acceptable to take a ghost on a date? That's that's a fascinating. Ghost they go speed into that. dating, yeah. yeah. It's like sitting at Olive Garden, and like there's nobody like, in the chair across from me, but I'm talking to her. They're like, uh, oh, he's uh, not crazy. You know, there's he's like a, a ghost. Tinder for ghosts. <laughs> you know, uh, to uh, decompose. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.